Um, so also though, um, those of us tracking about this, the, the people that uh, that we identify to help him, we gotta make sure we grab the plates, cups, the health yeah. registries, that type of shit. Um, we also need to make sure the maps. We got the yeah maps. Typical office, typical activity, people on their phones. So we got this high speed 20 year specialist. <laughs> what you doing there? What is that? Is that, is that that new thermal stuff? <laughs> got some land nav training that I went and checked out yesterday and I moved all the points. We need to take the grids off. <laughs> I was saying that too. What are you, you guys doing anything high speed in there? No. Uh, no. no. Thought so. Here's the other drunk of the company. We're doing a typical day in the reserves. You want to tell us about it? What do we do in the reserves? I honestly have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I just show up. <laughs> this is where we do stuff. That's another guy doing stuff. How much stuff? You working hard for Uncle Sam? This is the top secret room. That couch is comfy, dude. You doing anything cool? I think I'm doing nothing because they canceled my account. Oh, man. Typical army. Can't get online. This is the first sergeant's office where he does first sergeant stuff. You guys may remember Sean. That's right. We use first names around here deal with it. So what do we do in a typical day of the reserves? Um, deal with fucking battalions bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Is a battalion supporting us? Mm. Aren't they like really good support? Yeah. Yeah? The best. best. Yeah. <laughs> are, they, are there microphones? We, we smoke a lot of cigarettes. Is that hot plate authorized? Yes, I authorized it. Oh, okay. Well, cool. And the onions? The onions are for my it's like you're doing some rituals in here. Yeah, you just work out and smell onions all day? Yeah. <laughs> this is what we really do. <laughs> you guys look so, so who. Oh, that's a nice sunrise behind you guys. Oh. You start making out? So this is our training schedule that's never updated. So we're told to look at it. And we look at it and follow it. And it's, it's, we're always wrong. You show up in the wrong uniform with the water can. That's, uh, this is the female latrine, otherwise where people go to jack off because you get some privacy. Oh, this is cool. So if you guys didn't know, every unit that's overseas gets a direct line to Trump just in case, uh, you know, we got to get through some red tape to make some shit happen. So let's try it out. Hey, Donald, how you doing, buddy? Oh, it's raining. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> uh, this is um, something nobody knows how to use, but it's, it looks good on the wall. My cure. Good. This guy's been in the army for 80 years, if you count his German service. He was a machine gunner on Normandy. That's another couch. We, we have a thing with couches in this unit, and they all look like the uh, interview couches. For some reason. Here's another soldier doing some soldier stuff. Who's the person who likes to take this shit apart every fucking time, man? Like, <laughs> Jesus. The name of the game today is PMCS because we're doing land nav training. We finally get to leave our office to do army stuff, somewhat. And then probably a piss test. Not that we know in advance. This is our land nav training area, somewhere in Germany. So there's a big sign we pass that says whatever army training grounds. So this is our training grounds, but it's kind of like a central park for the Germans where we are. So they walk their dogs and hang out here, but because they're so used to roaming around here, they act like they own it. So even though it's army training grounds and they're not legally supposed to be on it, they give us shit for driving on it when they're walking their dogs on it. Typical German behavior. 
we came out here yesterday and kind of reconned a few of the points out here just to make sure nobody messed with them and they're still up so that that's the start point you give them i give them an eight digit grid that's just the map we're looking at shitty ass map but you can do everything you need to know so basically there's like five courses we can give them and we're just gonna disperse them out in two-man teams and they have to mark their start point if they're smart they'll mark their start point and all of their points and figure out what they want to do from the start point because it's a self-corrected course which means it's pretty easy but if you're like testing like eib or something you don't want to go to your first point and then plot the second point because if that one's wrong you're fucked all these guys are pretty good should go pretty well piss off some germans germans don't really walk through the forest so when they see us coming out of the forest with like compasses and shit it stresses them out because they think they own it but it's fun last year we drove around a humvee did some off-roading and really scared some people <laughs> ambassadors <laughs> <laughs> There's the heroes. Ron's already got his shit. 30 minutes late. Typical pre clusterfuck gaggle. Four, two, six, nine, four, zero, six, two. That's your starting point. As the natural soldier prepares to move into his natural environment, they have to do some planning. I think there's a burger to do over here. You know, but, uh, this one's got a wedge. So, you know, I, I, I like the square burgers, but, but they're tomatoes. This is a reserves, right? We don't. We're only allowed to walk 100 meters. <laughs> Yeah. All right, it's still right. Yeah, I got it. And then the other one's 4-1, so it's up here. This is 3. No, you're... That makes sense. So what they're doing is plotting all the points we gave them, which is the smart way to do it. And then they're going to go to the start point over there and get going. Hey, come on, what are you doing? <laughs> that's, that's the lost lieutenant hole. Hey, look, the start. So these guys are getting their pace count. There's a picket down there, picket here, 100 meters away. And basically you can count every step. Most people count every other step. And you're seeing how many of those steps it takes you to walk 100 meters. So if you have a three kilometer point to get to, then every time you hit 100 meters, you mark it off, count it off however you want. And that's how you keep track. 72, 73, 74, 75. 69! It's always 69. Mine always changes. Does it? Yeah. 75. 75? What? Oh, yes. What did I do wrong? Oh, three. one and two and three and? Yeah, it's one. It's like and, basically count. and one and two. And oh, oh, oh. Then 100, 118 divided by two. <laughs> 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 like I so, said. Like I, <laughs> look. Next team starting their pace count. This is good terrain to do it because it's a little bit off road. So I got a funny story about land navigation and real situations. There I was, no shit. Baghdad, Iraq. I was an RTO, so we came back from patrol. I went to the talk to turn in the radio. And one of our platoons is lost in the city somewhere. So commander, first sergeant are sitting in the talk, trying to figure out what's going on. And I believe as the commander, just asking all these questions, the lieutenant was all ate up. He's like, okay, look around you, give me any kind of, any kind of terrain, any notable structure that we could try to identify on the map and help you out. It's a bit of a silence and then no shit, this is the call back. Uh, Anvil 6, the moon is to my right. Yeah, that really happened. So the commander drops the hand mic, walks out. First sergeant picks it up. <laughs> it was uh, a very interesting conversation after that. Needless to say, somebody was not the platoon leader anymore. So you see, this is pretty good terrain to navigate on. Some hills. There's a bunch of flat area way over there. Using stuff. 
self-correcting course, so can't really go wrong. And the Germans mixed in. That's always kind of cool. Gives us an opportunity to chat with them. Most of us live on the economy among them, but they don't always get to talk with soldiers. So <clears throat> sometimes it's a good response. Sometimes a uh, not so good response. So I just checked in with a couple groups. Everybody's doing good. We'll head back to our base camp, warm up. Kind of kind of chilly today. Not too bad. I don't like to walk around with a fluff jacket all the time. I can't be too pokey. <laughs> Got a reputation to keep. So they're going to do a couple iterations, split up the teams, do some more. We're going to give them some harder courses. And then as soon as it gets dark enough, we're going to break out the night vision, nods. And they're going to do the night portion. And that's uh, a little more fun, walking through the woods at night with night vision. Good times. So what you doing there? <laughs> Making the hard, this is the expert course. Get an honorary EIB. Don't <clears throat> any threaten to kill his boss. There we go. See, that's the that's the reserves I wanted to join. Now we just need to make this PBR. It's fucking reserve duty. <laughs> There's all kind of updates to the servicing plan that needs to be made. Hi. <laughs> that, like, Sergeant this is called hip pocket training. In the Army, no matter what you're doing, you're never allowed to sit still and look bored or unengaged. So somebody always makes you stand up and do some training. You gotta earn your money. Preparing for Nightland Nav. They're getting to plot their stuff in the day because the trainer's a bitch. Why are you letting them plot during the day, dude? You got to get them to use that IR light. Put some uh, epic slow motion montage music to it. Look at that fearless captain leading the way. He's blindfolded. <laughs> so this is realistic training. They get to cross over a bridge over the Autobahn. So they get to see how headlights affect the night vision. So the gaggle has made its way in. Everybody passed. Nobody died. That's uh, always good. And we didn't lose any equipment. <laughs> That's even better. So um, now we're just going to get accountability of all our gear again. Make sure we got everybody. Clean up the area and we'll be convoying out of here. Successful night. Successful day. And then this is what it all comes down to. <laughs> Celebration. I'll bring your PCs because we're going to be doing that sometime in the afternoon. After. All right. Um. Yeah. So there'll be more more stuff to put out. Like What's up, guys? I'm on the way home on the autobahn. Just want to say thanks for checking this out. This video was uploaded specifically for some of y'all's input, and uh, I really appreciate the feedback and criticism you guys are giving. I have a lot to say about the Army Reserves, especially in Europe. So there's gonna be a lot more videos on this. I'm gonna put up a lot of story videos from my old infantry days. Plenty of like current stories. I mean, cause there's shenanigans all over the place no matter what you're doing. But uh, luckily you guys had started asking to see, you know, kind of what we're doing on duty over here. And we just had good training this weekend. Thanks again for the support. Um, if you guys wanna see anything else, you know, be sure to keep commenting down below. Send me messages on any of my social media pages. Make sure you uh, like and subscribe. Hit that bell up there so you get the notifications. And uh, this is kind of becoming therapeutic for me, so I wouldn't be doing this without y'all's support. So I really appreciate it, guys. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.